Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, John Pite Amewu, says the ministry is collaborating with stakeholders to clamp down on activities of illegal miners. Hosting the top hierarchy of the Ghana Chamber of Mines, the minister bemoaned the rapid speed at which the nation's forest reserve is being eroded by illegal miners. Is a phenomenon that has led to the destruction of vast acreage of arable farmlands, water bodies, aquatic lives, and forest reserves. The bare use of toxic chemicals such as cyanide in the extraction process by illegal miners has also left large tracts of land destroyed. The increasing number of illegal miners in the sector has been attributed to the lack of employment. The courtesy call by the executives of the Ghana Chamber of Mines on the sector ministry sought to deliberate on effective ways of addressing the challenges confronting the sector will require a more rigorous effort. The militant approach that we have seen over the period, for me, had not been successful. And so that is not the right way to tackle the problem. We're coming out with a multilateral mining integration project which will seek to address this issue, three, three pillars that I've talked about. We'll be looking at law, we'll be applying technology, we'll be looking at enforcement. And I think with these three technology and three pillars, we should be able to address it. President of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce, Kwame Adukufu, said the chamber will need collaboration to educate licensed small-scale miners on the need to protect the environment to sustain their businesses. He's forever worried. In spite of the huge mining royalties the chamber pays to government, only 4.95% is given to mining communities. Last year, 2016, we paid 550 million cities to government as royalty. Of this, 27 million goes back and therefore makes it very difficult for the communities to feel the positive impact of what we are doing. The mining industry last year alone paid $1.6 billion as tax to government. The sector is also the highest foreign exchange earner for the country, contributing 46% of the nation's gross merchant export. The Chamber of Mines wants governments to review the mining permit acquisition process in order to attract more foreign investors.